up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and everything has been really quiet on the Carly Russell front today. A little too quiet, if you ask me. But we're all still waiting here for some bombshell to drop. Supposedly, according to the rumors, Carly and her family are out in Atlanta celebrating her birthday. I think everyone is expecting some type of new development tomorrow, Monday. You know, a new week. Of course, on the weekend, news is always slow. But Mondays, that's when the tea really drops. Now, someone has been online for like the last week claiming that they had some piping hot Carly Russell tea to spill today. They've been talking about it a lot. People keep sending me messages about it. But then today, they came out and released information that we have already been sharing like a week ago. I mean, they came out with, with the Red Roof Inn 911 call. We've already listened to that a week ago. And basically, um, the person shared information that me, Ikin Mel, Pascal, and other YouTubers have already been on top of. So... I don't know what happened there, but a lot of people were telling me, oh, oh, there's going to be a bunch of big news today, a lot of big news. And someone got online claiming that they had exclusive news. And all it was was stuff that you could have seen on our YouTube videos like a week ago. So there's not much going on. But, you know, since this situation started, I've been wondering... Is Carly Russell online looking at the backlash? Is Carly Russell watching all of these memes? Is she watching the internet clown her? Don't get me wrong, things have kind of slowed down today. But for the first couple of days, it was brutal. Memes out the wazoo. We had people making TikTok videos, recreations, reenactments, you name it. It was hilarious. The entire internet came together to clown Carly Russell. And in my opinion, I think she deserves it. Because the reality is, all of us that sat here and made fun of Carly, we were all worried about Carly at one point. You know, I came on my platform trying to spread the word about Carly. And by the time I was making my second video, I was literally telling Carly Russell's story and going over all of the information, and I was just sitting there like, wait, hold, what? And then when I saw the footage and how far she drove, that's why you can go back in the title of my video was that something is off here, and something was off. Boy, was I right, but I did not know it would be this crazy. But anyway, so I've been wondering, is Carly Russell looking at the backlash? And apparently... She is. Now, there's been no new post on social media from Carly. But in my last video, I told you all that she's been deleting her Facebook, reinstating her Facebook. Now she has switched her Facebook over to a different setting so you could follow her. Like, basically, she's made her Facebook page um, like a content creator would. So you could follow her instead of adding her. So she's definitely trying to capitalize all of, um, off of all of this nonsense. But earlier today, Carly Russell was on Twitter. She actually liked a tweet. And I think that this is the tweet that she liked. I think it's very telling of her mind state. I think it shows that she is not ready to accept the fact that she did something wrong, no accountability, basically making it out to be like, oh, you know, I had to do this for me. Let's go ahead and, you know, I'm not even going to waste any more of your time. Hit that thumbs up button and let's read this tweet. Carly, I ain't mad at you. As messed up as it sounds, you had to do what you needed to do for self-preservation. The Bible says, you without sin shall cast the first stone. May the Lord be with you and all the families deeply affected by this situation. 
Now you go and you look, you see the tweet had two likes at the time. And who's one of the people that liked the tweet? It is no other than Carly Russell herself. Now, a lot of people picked up on this. And a lot of people started going to this Twitter profile. And now the Twitter profile went private. So if you go to Carly um, Russell's liked tweets now, you're no longer going to see it. And this person went private because people started accusing this person of being Carly Russell. I don't know who this person is. Please do not harass this person or bother this person at all. But people are saying that this may be one of Carly Russell's burner accounts and that she's tweeting basically nicer things about herself. And then she went and liked it. But yeah, right here, Carly, I ain't mad at you. As messed up as it sounds, you had to do what you needed to do for self-preservation. So basically, in Carly's mind state, she had to do what she had to do for self-preservation. She needed a little vacation. She needed to steal a robe from her job, some toilet paper, because the toilet paper was too rough at the hotel that she could afford. Um, she needed to go get some cheese zits and granola bars, some Greek food, and sit her ass up in a hotel while watching the world think that she was missing, going around searching for her and all of this stuff. So, I mean, <laughs> it's like, read the room. Now that I know, now that we know for a fact that Carly Russell has been on social media, and if she's been on social media, she's been seeing the backlash. You cannot escape it. Everyone's been talking about it. So still, even after all of this, it hasn't sunk in, in her head yet that she did something wrong. She's still making it a, about her. When in reality, once it came out that Carly was lying, this story no longer became about Carly. It became about everyone else who tried to find Carly, who tried to spread the word about Carly, who worried and prayed about Carly. But here she is. Oh, this is what I had to do for my self-preservation. Basically, that's the mind state that she is still in. And it's been over a week. You've had enough time to, you know, go ahead and let the realization sink in. You've had enough time to accept the fact that you did something wrong. You've had enough time to kind of stew on it a little bit and kind of, you know, come to your senses and realize, oh, you know, I messed up big time, but no, not Carly Russell. Because it seems to me as if she's a narcissist. And I don't like to accuse people of being narcissists. I think the word narcissist is used way too much these days. But this is like super self-centered. As if, you know, the whole world deserves to be brought in on Carly's self-preservation. You could have went and self-preserved somewhere, some, somewhere else in a different way that didn't involve the outside world. But no, you wanted that attention. And now you got that attention. And now, even when you do simple things like like tweets, people are watching. And when you like a tweet, especially this is your first liked tweet after getting kidnapped, I think it says a lot about you. But even in here, I think it's funny that Carly liked this tweet because it's not like this tweet was saying anything about believing Carly's story. In fact, the way this tweet reads to me is as if, yeah, we know that, you know, the story's fake, but you had to do what you had to do. So it's almost kind of, I don't want to reach too far, but it's almost kind of admitting that, oh yeah, this is some bogus BS. My story's a lie. Because, I mean... Carly, I ain't mad at you. As messed up as it sounds, you had to do what you needed to do for self-preservation. By Carly liking that, I feel like it's acknowledging that, yeah, you lied about your story, but you had to do what you had to do. Because doing what you had to do doesn't involve getting kidnapped and fed cheeses. So you tell me what you think about all of this stuff. This is all that's really gone down today. Hoping for more news tomorrow. While you're here, like I said, drop your thoughts in the comments, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.